Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a little bit more of a chilled video this week. I originally wanted to film a repot with me, but I just, I don't think it's the time to be talking about a lot of the stuff that you guys asked me about. So I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, I'm just gonna sit here and show you a few growth updates I've got on a few of my houseplants. A lot of people on the video where I asked, you know, do you want me to show growth updates or a houseplant tour? A lot of you said, but so I'm kind of trying to satisfy both parties by showing you some updates. So I think I've got, I have the Billetai that I planted in Lekka, that is down there. I have my large yellow Monstera and a few other things I would like to very briefly talk about today. Obviously some of my other plants have grown but I'm not going to show you every single one. So I will just grab one in the first instance. So the first growth update I would really love to talk about today is a plant that you can't get in the EU. It's not that you can't get, it's not impossible, but it's really difficult to get compared to how prolific I know it can be in America. So over here, you have to buy a cutting of these plants, like we're talking like a two leaf cutting, and that could go for literally 30, 35 Great British pounds. It's an amazing plant, but it's not cheap for us. So I'm really, really proud to have this. I grew this from a two leaf cutting and it's just looking just better and better by the day. I think it's probably time to cut this and start feeding it back into the pot, but I will show you the plant I am talking about. And that is Monstera Siltipacana. Again, I know a lot of you guys in America might have like big full pots of this. I actually don't. This is a big deal for me to have this much. I'll just show it to the camera there if it wants to focus on it. It's beautiful, look at that. If you haven't seen Monstera Siltipacana before, it looks a little something like this. It is a viner, but it has the most beautiful like color and dimension. Let me see if I can get it a little bit closer to the camera. Oh my gosh, it's really difficult to do. Here, beautiful, beautiful shape and dimension to the leaves. If you have not seen this before, this is a Monstera. It's not often talked about and I don't know quite why. Maybe it's a bit underrated, I don't know. It's actually one of my favorites. I think I may have shown this on my channel very briefly in a repot with me in January. And this, these two leaves here, as you can tell, have taken a little bit more of a beating. That is because they were the leaves that I got when I got it. This was rooting in moss for a long time, just, you know, two leaves in a little bag. And eventually I was able to plant it up and grow it out. Now, if I take the pot out of here, because I'm not a fan of terracotta pots, I really like the aesthetic, but I don't like to actually use them functionally. So that is just a terracotta pot from Ikea. And this is a very, very, very small, very cheap, very nasty plant pot right there. It's horrible, it needs replanted. Can't see any roots coming from the bottom, but I think it's almost time to take a cutting of this and start feeding it back in so I can have a much thicker plant. But I'm literally obsessed with this. I did think about growing it up a pole rather than trailing, but for some reason, I think most of the images of this plant I see are trailing. I kind of want to let it trail. I don't know why. I just really feel the need to let this trail rather than to grow upwards, even though I know that if it grew upwards, the leaves would get, you know, much bigger. I don't know, there's something really awesome about it vining that I prefer. So for now, I'm going to grow this vining. But honestly, this is such an underrated Monstera, I can't even tell you. If you happen to know anywhere in the EU where I can get a full-blown plant of this, I realize that's very difficult, please let me know in the comments because I would be super, super interested. That's a thumbnail right there if I've ever seen one. So we shall pop that down. And again, I'm going in no particular order here. I'm just kind of grabbing plants as I see fit. Ooh, I've got something to talk about here and it's not just the growth update on the plant. You've seen this plant before. Actually, on the last report, you've seen this plant before, so you kind of know what's coming as soon as I tell you. But I want to speak on the pots because I'm not happy about these pots at all. I'm really not. So I did actually put a bit of a PSA under that last report video about the pots that I used, but I don't know if anybody read it. So long story short, I'm not advocating those pots in the video and I'll explain why. But aside from that, this is the growth on my Anthurium crystallinum, and I know I did briefly show it in that repot video, but I just want to kind of brag about it for a minute because these other two leaves were, oh, sorry, three leaves here were how I got the plant. So the plant started from basically these three leaves. And I want to let you know that this plant did absolutely nothing for, I think I got this in winter, if I remember rightly. I was at a plant hall late last year. I think I got this in winter and seriously didn't do anything all winter, just looked miserable, didn't do anything. It perked up a little bit around January time, looked a little bit better, 
But all of a sudden, as soon as spring hit, it went from this to this. So I've repotted it very recently, as I just mentioned, and I'm just hoping it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's talk about the pots for a second. I was going to talk about this in the next repot anyway, um, but I'll, I'll mention everything I'm going to do now, just because this is kind of a very low-key chatty video. It's maybe not the same as what I would usually put out. So if you're put off by chatty videos, just talking about plant growth, I do apologize, but that's what you're getting today. If I tip that up there just to hide my face, otherwise the camera will start to focus on it. You can see here, this is the self-watering pot that I used in my last repot with me video. And I put a Luxurians in this pot as well. I thought everything would be great, right? Because I bought these plant pots because I think you could get like four of these, maybe, maybe three of these to the price of one Lechuza pot. The pots that I like to use, the self-watering pots. And I thought, yay, great, great bargain, right? Now I can just buy more for less money. And for some reason, I didn't think about it when I was potting these up. I noticed when I was potting these up that the, the reservoir obviously takes up about that much of the pot. So what you're left with in your pot is a very, very short amount of space for your roots. So I don't necessarily love that. But I thought, you know what, fine, okay, not a problem. We'll just see how it goes. And I'd finished filming, and for some reason I didn't think about this. I just didn't think about this at the time when I was repotting. But when I'd finished filming, I went to, you know, I packed away and I went to water these plants. And it dawned on me very quickly that in order to water these plants, I actually had to drench the soil through and then keep drenching it to fill up the reservoir at the bottom. And you kind of have to work out when to stop watering, knowing that your plant is drenched and it's draining, otherwise you water too much. Because funny enough, I actually overwatered this plant, I think it was like yesterday or something, and I had to literally tip it down the sink because I put too much water in and the gauge on the plant here was just like through the roof. I, I, I fucked it up basically. So for that reason, I'm not advocating these pots. They do feel cheaper. That's not really the problem. It's more about the simple functionality for me of not being able to water bottom up. That's what you're losing with these pots. So rant over on the pots, just letting you know, I don't advocate them. I did again say this in my repot, but just in case you guys missed it, I don't advocate these. I'm going to probably have to repot this into another new self-watering, which I actually have ordered, it's on the way. So in the next repot, don't be surprised if you see me very quickly take this out of this pot and the philodendron luxuriance that's down there out of this pot as well. They'll do for now, but you know. The next plant I want to talk about, I'm really, really pleased with, and I wasn't sure when this was going to happen. So I don't know if anybody noticed on my previous plant tours or anything. I don't know how often I've actually put this on camera, but I had a dark form queen anthurium in this house for, it's got to have been about a year now, and I actually didn't pot it up. I kept it just in how it came from my shop and I put it in like two containers and I sealed it off. And I actually barely touched it for a year. I gave it the occasional water, but that's it, it was sealed off. So maybe a month or a month and a half ago, I took the queen out of the pot. I thought, right, I want to grow this now in my conditions. I want to give it a good go. Because obviously at my shop, I'm able to grow these plants in kind of lower humidity than what I would have expected. So I was really, really pleased with that. So I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to give this one a shot. And I moved her out of the pot and she, she threw a little bit of a tantrum, I'm not gonna lie. I've cut a yellow leaf off, the other leaf remaining is, it's not good. So she didn't like the humidity drop from going into the pot, which was probably about 75% and she's dropped down to 50, so she didn't love that. But, but, I gave her a feed, I soaked her for a little while, and she has given me, at the same time, she's given me two new leaves. So here is my queen, okay? I will take you through, before I show you the, the two new leaves, I will take you through the old leaves. So here, you can see the old nasty leaf where basically she just went into shock after coming out of the container that she was in. That's kind of unavoidable. You won't lose your entire plant doing that unless you drop to like, I don't know, 20%. But you really kind of have to accept that if you're going to drop humidity like that, that's probably gonna happen. So that happened to that. This was one of the remaining leaves actually, like so. And that held up just fine. It's super dark as well. Small, but thin, but cute. The tip kind of went, but that's literally it. So that stayed really intact. But since then, it's got bigger and it's grown these two leaves for me. And if I just try and separate with my hands, like so, how amazing. If I move back from the camera, that is how amazing my new growth is. And even down to the tips, the tips are absolutely fine too as well. I wish for dear life that this anthurium would kind of spread itself like that, be, you know, when it faces the window, but it just doesn't seem to want to. So the leaves are kind of growing on top of itself, which I'm not super happy about, but there you go. 
but that is my Queen Anne theorem. And right now, I'll just say it is 45% in here. It is low because at the minute I'm having to keep the windows open because it's so hot in here. But 45%, can you see that? 45%. And that is not dying. Obviously, after this video, I'm gonna have to fill up the humidifier again and just get the, the you know the humidity going because my personal DEF CON level is about 50%. So that's dropped. So we need to get that going as soon as I've done this video. But I just really wanted to show you the growth on this and I want you to know that it's possible. And it's possible in lower humidity conditions. So that is my Queen Anne theorem. You can't really see any of the roots. She is in a clear pot, but you can't really see too much. There she is there. Because she has been repotted reasonably recently. So you can't see too much, but she's doing really awesome. What else have I got to show you? I can't see because there's so much on the table, right? There's two large items there. I feel like you've seen the luxuriance from my repot, so I'm not going to show you that. What else do I have in here? I'll show you this very briefly because it's next to me and I am not proud of the state that the water is in, so don't, you know, do what I have done. But this is a really, really beautiful, it's single cutting, believe it or not of Monstera Albo that I'm actually rooting and I'm going to make a plant for my mum. So that's what she is and she's been in there for a long time and she hasn't done amazing on roots considering how long she's been in there. Also, the grow lights are making algae grow in my water. Just hide my face there. There you go. So she's fine, she's cool. I think she needs a feed because she's kind of light green. She's lighter than she should be up top. So she probably needs a bit of a feed. She needs planted, you know, it's time. So that's what she is. If you've ever wondered why she sat there, she is different from the other cuttings that I'm sending to the US. I kind of kept that one back for myself. I have some other ones over there that I'm also keeping for my mom to make a full plant with. So I have the sectoral ones there and then I have some more splashed cuttings as well. I'm gonna fuse the cuttings together and make my mom a lovely big variegated monstera that is kind of custom. So I'm really excited to do that at some point this year. I just need to make sure that the roots are established enough before I start putting it in a pot and mounting it up a pole and all the rest. Oh, should we talk about this girl? Cause she's cool. Right, hang on. She's heavy, she's real heavy. So this girl here needs no introduction. She was in my last repot video, I repotted her, but I really, really want to talk about her. So I potted her up into this huge pot last week She's already grown, I don't know if you can see this, let me cover my face. She's already grown out the pot though. She's already got an aerial root that just wants to escape. But the reason I wanna talk about her is actually the variegation real quick. When I got this cutting, I don't know how this is gonna be that viewable, but when I got this cutting, I had these three leaves up front. So I had this leaf on it, I had this leaf on it, and I had this leaf on it. Since my, you know, she's been in my care, I've had this leaf, then I've had that leaf there, then I've had this amazing leaf here. And I'm really excited about this, but at the same time, I'm a bit nervous. I feel like, and I don't know how easy this is to show, but I feel like on this side of the plant, I have sectoral variegation because I have it in this leaf too, right? But on this side, I have more speckling and even that's not very strong. Luckily, this leaf here has increased its sectoral and it's also got some speckle, whereas the previous didn't. So I'm quite excited about that. But the annoying thing about these plants is you're not really in control of it to be honest, so it is a waiting game. I'm extremely pleased about this though. This is a lot of variegation. That was okay when that came out because I thought, okay, well, it's sectoral, we might have something, but it's not a lot to shout about. This, however, is getting much better. And if I show you the back, the back of the leaf is kind of amazing. There, you can see just how much variegation has spread. So I'm hoping that we just get a better increase up the stem. I think she needs a pole very, very quickly because that's getting quite big now. So I'm going to have to find a pole for her real soon. I think I'll show you one more plant right now because a lot of them that have got real good updates on, they're very big. Some of them are, you know, the hanging plants next door. So that's obviously, you know, more fit for a tour. But I will show you very quickly the philodendron biltai that I planted in Lekka because I know a few people were kind of like, oh, is that gonna be okay? Like, how do you take care of that? What do you do? I mainly wanna show you what has happened since I put it in the Lekka because I know a few people have actually been asking me on Instagram what's happened, what's, you know, what's up with it. Oh, there she is. You probably can't see the entire plant in the frame because she is huge, but I promise you above that one, there is nothing but pole. Let me just show you there. So that's the top. And I think, is it this leaf here that was the most recent leaf? And for some reason, I don't know why this is, but when I grow philodendron in my house, they seem to grow really narrow and really long. I don't get why that is, because normally, I don't know if I've got a more normal leaf here. I think here you can maybe see the, you know, the width of the leaf. 
But considering that these leaves are more mature, these are the last two leaves here that I've had from this plant. So here's one and here is, you know, the newest, hence it's like super glossy still. But I'm not entirely sure why I'm growing leaves this long and thin. Let me show you straight up to the camera how amazingly beautiful this plant is. I will also try and show you round, oh, where the plant is in the base there. So that's kind of what's going on at the base at the moment. It's grown really, really well. It hasn't attached itself to the pole or anything like that. But in terms of how healthy the plant is, the plant's absolutely fine. It is growing in Lekka, which are these amazing, weird looking clay balls that just kind of sit and your plant will root really well amongst all of those. But I just wanna make everyone feel a little bit more comfortable about Lekka because this had grown in soil for, you know, two years. I got it out, I blasted the roots off in the sink and I shoved it straight into Lekka. And it, you wouldn't even know that I did that. Quite honestly, you wouldn't even know. You would have no clue. There is not one leaf that has taken damage. There are no yellowing. Seems to be no signs of struggle to grow. It did wait a little bit before it decided to grow, but of course, you know, that's probably root disturbance rather than any harm caused to the plant in any way. So I just kind of want to show you, move her back there, how kind of amazing she is. If you hear sloshing, that's actually the water in the bottom of the pot. She's great. She's looking really, really good. She doesn't even grow that close to the window. She's actually growing much further back and she's still pushing out long, thin leaves, which I would expect. If I moved her backwards, she would be pushing out wider leaves, but she ain't, she's just, she's looking great. I have just realized I've done a little bit of a boo-boo in this video and I've just realized what it is now. And I know I will have probably a hundred comments by now telling me this, but I'm gonna tell you this really quickly. Let me put her down. That's my bad. This plant here is not called Billy Tai anymore. Well, it is, it is Philodendra Billy Tai, but it is not pronounced like that. So its actual pronunciation is known to be Philodendron bilietiae. And I am sorry I forgot that because I'm so used to calling it a bilietiae. It, it is, but it's not. So the name of the plant hasn't changed. We just weren't privy to the pronunciation. So this beautiful plant here is Philodendron bilietiae. So I'm very sorry to the hundred people that just had to write that in the comments. I completely forgot. So yes, Philodendron. Billy Etier just has not taken a punch whatsoever when going into Lekka. So if you want to start on Lekka, maybe I could, you know, do a video on that further down the line, but pick a tough philodendron like this. If you want to start and you have no idea what you're doing, pick a tough philodendron, pick a monstera, pick something like that. You won't really have any issues to be quite honest. I've gone a step further, of course, and I've used a self-watering pot with my Lekka. You don't have to do that. You can use, you know, a different kind of pot in an outer pot like this one here. This plant here is in Lekka, as you can see, there, it is in Lekka, but it is just a normal pot in an outer pot, and there, that's how far, that's a little bit too much admittedly, but that's how far up the pot is filled with water, and you just put water in the bottom, you can put a little bit of feed in it if you want, however else. <sighs> it's also getting a little bit hot in here, so I will end this video now. I realize this, again, is not the typical video you would see from me. There are a lot more important things in the world right now than me simply ranting on about my shop. So that is the reason that I've decided not to do the repot. I will still do a repot. I think I'm gonna do one next week. And that is mainly because, as I say, I ain't happy with these pots. I've got some on order. I need to replace them because I'm really, to the point where I'm paranoid about the plant in the pot. So I'm going to replace the pots, such as, I may as well show you because it's a different plant from the crystal. This luxuriance here is in the same pot. I'm not loving this. Also, I watered this yesterday, right? Just to show you how thirsty luxuriance are. I watered this yesterday and look at that. It's gone. It's gone. These plants are ridiculous. Only these plants as well. Only luxuriance, but they're ridiculous. So yes, I'm going to be doing that at some point. So you will get a repot, of course but it might be next week, it might be the week after. I really hope to see you all on Friday, however, and that is because I may have bought some absolutely insanely huge houseplants. I got them in last Friday gone. I actually had to drive a four hour round trip to pick them up, which you may or may not have heard about on my Instagram. And I unboxed them for you on camera. And I am not exaggerating when I tell you that these aroids are as big as me, pretty much. So I can't wait for you guys to see that on Friday and I hope you all come and see it. Until then, let me put this plant down. 
until then i hope you have a great week please stay safe and i shall see you on friday guys bye